Hi everyone, how you doing? I hope you're well. Now, before this video is, that is just about to play comes on, I just wanted to come on to say a massive, massive thank you. You guys have been subscribing like mad. Brilliant, thanks very much to watch the channel, which I've really enjoyed making so far. Um, I've hit over a thousand subscribers now, so it's fantastic. I'm so, so pleased and I'm so grateful as well. Now, I have tried to message back every single person that's left a comment, okay? Um, as it grows, <laughs> I won't be able to continue to do that, but I will try my best. I'm a great believer in engaging with people, especially people that take time to watch your content. It's really important. I know that when I make a comment on someone else's channel, if you like, um, it always makes it feel... Um, like they've taken the time to read my message if they answer me back. So I have read all your messages. If I have missed you along the way somewhere, I do apologise. Um, but I am trying to answer everyone as best as I can and really engage with you guys because I know that without your support, with subscribing and liking the, the videos, then, you know, it, it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm, I'm aware of that 100%. So thank you very much for that. Hi guys, now with the channel being called Unusual Things, uh, I was just on my way home from doing another video and I stopped in a little place called Burley near the New Forest. Um, and apparently back in the 1950s, I think it was, there was a white witch that used to walk around here with a jackdaw on her shoulder. And then she moved to America for some reason. But there's quite a few cool little shops around here with witchy things in there. So what I wanna do is see if we can get in one and if they're open, maybe talk to a member of staff, see if they know anything about the tale and what it's all about because it is unusual. So why not try and not get one over for us? Why not try and uh, see if we can see anything? It's always worth an ask, isn't it? Hi guys, now I've managed to come into one of the stores here in Burley, which um, a very kind lady has just let me in because they're not quite open yet. And as you can see, it's a beautiful store. If you're into your spiritual stuff, if you're into your witches, your dragons, your sea salt lamp, rock salt lamp, sorry, Buddhas, everything, they've got everything in here. So if you're in Burley, come and um, stop by. Now, I'm just gonna show you about the white witch. Now, this is the lady I was telling you about earlier on, Sybil Leek, who's the famous Burley witch. She used to walk around with a jackdaw on the shoulder. And I think his name was Jack. Hang on, I'll have a look. Uh, I haven't got my glasses on. Oh yeah, Mr. Hotfoot Jackson, there he is. So there's some information there. And of course you can go on the, I don't know if you can see it, so there's quite a reflection on the light. But you can go on the internet as well and see it. I'll just show you a little bit more around the shop so you get an idea. They've got some beautiful stuff in here. So I do think I will be treating myself to something before I leave today. Let's have a little walk around here. If you love your Harry Potter, look. <laughs> Ooh, tiger t-shirts. Now we're talking. And loads of books as well. So if you're into your spiritual books or witchcraft or white wicker stuff, you know, of course. Um, plenty there. And this is great because this is all for helping the animals here. It's fantastic. Now over here, selection of tarot. So if you're into your tarot cards at all. I've got that set there. The animal set. Really cool. And then there's a few. Like wall pieces over here. And some rings. If this is your sort of thing, this is such a beautiful little shop. And there's a couple of shops in the in the little village um, which sell lots of things, you know, um, like this. So come, make sure, you know, I, I'm a great believer in supporting local businesses. So make sure you stop somewhere and um, have a look at stuff. See, now look. That's right up my street. I have skulls and crows everywhere in my house. How much of the little mugs? Got mugs there as well. Cool. I'll show you guys. And fairies, of course, if you're into your fairy stuff. Let's just 
So there we have it, beautiful little shop in Burley, um, full of little bits and pieces. And like I say, there's a couple more shops in the town as well, so you can get yourself down there and have a look. Uh, lovely little place, stop by, treat yourself and come and see the staff. They're really friendly, but they don't want to be on camera and I completely understand why. I wouldn't want to be on camera with me either. That's the shop I was telling you about, Coven of Witches. And yes, I couldn't help myself. 25 pound later. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> she was closed and she didn't open till 10. And I said, if you let me film, I promise I'll buy something. I only wanted to buy something for 10 hour, but I didn't have anything that I wanted. But I did, I had lots of things that I wanted, but I've got a lot of it. So I'll show you this when I get in the car. So I will show you what I bought. Oh, she's taped it up. Lovely lady in there, really helpful, but bless her. She didn't want to be on camera. I understand why some people don't want to be on camera. But there's more than that shop in the town centre. There's about another two or three different ones. Yeah. Ta da ready? Those of you that know me know I love my horror stuff, of course. And um, I'm really into like uh, gothic architecture and things like that. So anything with a crow, a skull, or old wooden buildings with beams and stuff like that. I haven't got one of those in here. I haven't got a house in here. But I had to buy myself a new skull and a crow and on some books. I haven't got one on some books. So I bought myself that. More unusual things to go in the house of the person that keeps unusual things. What I want <laughs> I won't, I won't start telling you guys, what I want to do is start collecting. I've got a suit of armor in my living room and things like that. It's an old one, but it's cool. So if you've ever got any old stuff like that, that you're throwing away, or you want to sell, get in contact with me because I love, don't get me wrong, I'm not a, um, I'm not a magpie. I don't go around collecting stuff for the sake of it. But you know, I like what I like, so I like to collect what I like. Um, and that sort of stuff is what I like. But, and I did feel bad because she hadn't opened yet and I'm in there going, oh, can I have a look around the shop? Can I film? But there you go. So that's Burley near the New Forest, near Southampton, I suppose. Um, if you're ever passing by, so it's a beautiful little place. I've stayed here a few years ago in a hotel up the road. And there's a couple here, there's a couple of pubs and, and hotels and things like that. Um, but yeah, if you just like those sort of shops, stop by. Treat yourself. They didn't have any crows on rings though. And that's what I really wanted, but never mind. If you know anywhere where they sell crows on a ring, let me know. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.